So, this is something that I did not expect to be well, talking about this soon in general. Mahi Mahi Resort is getting map reworks. Like, legit map reworks, not like wee tweaks from like patch to patch. Proper map reworks. Like, look at this. This stage is actually getting like a full translation from like what it was before. Nintendo's posted saying that the map is going to be out of commission from the 16th of October on Monday this week. Um, till the 18th of October, which is on Wednesday, when it open back up. And just judging by everything, it seems that the map reworks are actually going to be pretty solid in general. And we're quickly going to have a look at them right now. So as it is right now, this is just the spawn region for Mahi Mahi. The rest, you, you can get up to this section using a ramp, and you can just get camped out very easily. But after this rework, the, the spawn section right here will have an extension that goes all the way down here, and comes up to here. And also we'll have a bit of an extension backwards as well, so not only will you have a bit of width to this going from one end of the map to the other in terms of like this section, but you'll also have a bit of like depth to it as well, so you'll be able to actually avoid someone trying to hit with a brush or hit you with a splatana or shoot you with anything like that. This section here and a bit more out here is going to get um, an extension on this landing right here, which will go all the way over to, like I said, roughly about here-ish, I'd say. And this whole ex extension should give you a bit more freedom instead of having someone just sitting here ready to catch you out. There's also a wee block that will extend here that connects to this. So you'll have not only a section that goes to here, but you'll have a wee like block that you can just kind of jump down to here from. And speaking of here, you will have this section right here will have a wee extension roughly here up to the ramp, just about roughly right here, giving you a bit more freedom to kind of walk over here and making the landing area a bit better just to walk around and just be a bigger battle area. And then up here next to this ramp, there's going to be an extra block which you should be able to ink for, um, jump on and ink from um, kind of all sides, to my knowledge. And then just ahead of it, there'll be a grate which will connect to this upper section here. And just below that will be an extension of the lower landing section when the tide rises, which will connect from here all the way to about here, meaning that you can drop down into this area instead of having to jump like I, like I just did. You can drop down from this grate, through the grates, and you can just swim over here. This block right here also is gonna get some sort of like extension. Instead of being the block it is now, it's gonna be like in ranked where it'll have a bit more of an extension going out. And it's gonna get the ink rail as well. Meaning that from what I can see on the maps, it should be able to connect over to about here-ish now. And this means that you can go from this position right here all the way over there where that new block I said was, which is really good. And over here on the left side, this spot right here will have a wee extension roughly here with this like be an uninkable block going about here now. So you'll have a bit more just position, just a bit more like ground to kind of walk over and get um, down to this section right here instead of someone shooting up at you. Just a bit more freedom over here and a bit more ground to kind of get around when using the left side. This island right here, which normally only has one direction to get into, this block right here, will have a wee extension that should go up to about that black line, as well as an island which will be around here with the sponges roughly. I almost fell in there. Roughly about here, just a wee extension here. This section right here, this black block, should be raised up to how, where it would be now. So this section will connect all the way down to roughly here, and you'll be able to swim straight to this block, and you will not have to make two awkward jumps going straight to the island, meaning you can make this a lot more accessible for both flankers and attackers. And the last thing to note on the left side is this section right here will be removed and you'll have to, if you wanted to jump onto this island here, you'd have to go from about here and you'd have to jump all the way over to where I just landed, pretty much where this black line is. So basically the island jump that you'd normally do from like here up to this block then over to here is now moved over to here where you can now go over here and then you can jump up onto this section here which will now be extended over here where I'm standing. And then finally for mid, the um, upper platforms are going to get a bit of quality life change by having a little grey just added roughly here, I believe, making it so that if you were to jump from one position to another, if you didn't have any ink or there was ink below some of that, you can just walk onto the grate and then jump up. The only other final rework that I can see kind of happening, judging by the artwork, is these sections right here will be removed no matter what. Like, this will be gone, and that will be gone. Making this, oh, excuse me, making this tunnel here basically how it would be if the, if the tide was down. Which I find kind of interesting if they are to do that. If they don't do it, then that's fine. Maybe they make it uninkable, from what I can tell, because it's just black boxes that are there. Um, so they might make it uninkable instead of how it is now, which wouldn't be a bit interesting, but we'll see how it is, because I'm not too sure on that one. And so yeah, that's generally how the maps are. I don't know how this is going to impact 
um, competitive stages, or sorry, rank modes, but judging by how the spawn is going to get wider, this section, like the whole right side is going to get a new flank and the left side is going to get some changes for approach options and defenses. The Mahi seems like it's going to go from a low tier stage roughly, like a mid low tier stage to, maybe a mid tier stage, to like a solid constant like mid or high tier stage, I'm not too sure, but I think it's gonna make a high tier stage at the most. With these map reworks, we can only assume that the new one, that there are more to come for like more stages like E-Tail and Mincemeat and all that. This could mean a new era for Splatoon 3, like a new era with good maps, really cool weapons, and just everything that we can imagine. This is what we want Splatoon 3 to be, from basically when it launched, which we didn't get the pleasure of, but we're getting it now, which is great. Also, with Nintendo showing a post literally stating that they're going to be doing map reworks for certain stages, pretty much, this could potentially mean they will go back on certain designs that they scrapped before Splatoon 3 launched. Because if you guys didn't know, way back when Splatoon 3, before even launched, when the first and basically second trailer were announced, um, Scorch Gorge and Etel Alley were a lot different. Like, Etel was wider, it had more options and inkable walls, Scorch Gorge had a full left side that was just taken away. Um, it was brilliant. The stages, the stages from what pretty much everyone could tell were amazing. So yeah, Nintendo, if you see this, if anyone Nintendo sees this, Good job. I give you a full on pat on the back and I applaud. If this is what you guys are planning to do and oops, fix my camera there. If you if this is what you're planning to do and you plan on fixing like the stages to be pretty solid, if not at the very least, being playable and in, and like even enjoyable to some extent then I can respect you for it. And yeah, that's pretty much the video. I wanted to let you guys know, for those that weren't aware of the, like, the recent changes that were posted today, or maybe yesterday, depending on where you are, um, and also give my thoughts and opinions on how the stage changes are, and just what I think of them. So yeah, if you guys like these new stages and all that, and you like the, not new stages, but like the new map reworks and all that, then you can let me know in the comments below and tell me what your gripes are, if you have any of them. And yeah, just like the video if you like what we're doing, subscribe for more of it, and yeah. I will see you guys in the next video whenever that comes out because my schedule's messed up. Goodbye. And have a good day.